It promised to be a ride to remember. Mixed in the crowd of military vets are a few dozen retired veterans who made the trip from Bentley Village, traveling back in time on the Naples Princess. It's a special day for me, and I, I do remember uh, and want to uh, my comrades, those that lived and those that died. I think that's what it's all about. Freedom Waters Foundation is a nonprofit that provides uh, marine activities and boating uh, outings for people with disabilities, life threatening illnesses, youth at risk, and veterans. The veterans that you'll see on board today are recent returnees and some World War II veterans, so we have the entire gamut. The Korean War broke out in June of 1950, and I joined the Navy in August of 50 uh, to be a, a naval cadet at Pensacola and I got my wings uh, after carrier qualifications. Uh, we were in Task Force 77 in Korea, and I flew 48 missions. About 85% of all of our missions uh, were supporting the uh, infantry on the front lines. Uh, they would lob in a, uh, an ar artillery shell uh, with a white frost of smoke, and they'd say, that's the target. In uh, 1951 to 53, I was in uh, the U.S. for half of that time, then I was over in Korea. I was a uh, supply clerk in, uh, in a replacement company there. I thought I was heading for the front lines, but I got pulled out to stay in the uh, main area there, which I was very delighted about. We were issuing equipment uh, to all these fellows going going up to the lines and taking in equipment from the guys coming back. I volunteered for the Army. I went to Fort Leonard Wood for basic training. Uh, spent uh, another couple of months there in combat engineer training. And then I went to Fort Belvoir, Virginia for additional training. Eisenhower was afraid that the Russians were going to attack us by coming over Alaska and we had no combat maps of Alaska. And that was what I was trained to do. Flying helicopters in that climate, in that uh, era, uh, where the helicopters weren't quite what they are today, uh, we lost a few. And uh, we lost a few pilots and we also lost a few surveyors that were in there. Uh, the people that, that I flew with for four years, I mean, they, they became very close friends. And that's uh, naturally, they're the ones that you think about. 